Hey, it's Tom from Tom's Tunes. I'm gonna show you how to properly attach your seat backs to the fencing or railings themselves. So sometimes your seat might flop a little bit, might move a little bit. It's okay, once you lean it back against the railing, you're gonna be secure. But if you want that nice, smooth, continuous look with your furniture, it's an easy couple steps. We're gonna start with a number 10, two and a half inch long uh, stainless screw with a flat head and then a finish washer. When those sit together, it gives you a nice flush, flat look that's gonna help make everything nice and seamless on your railings. What I like to do on a 38 inch bench like this is two screws, one in each corner. So what I'm gonna do is take a 3 16 bit, it's just about the same size or a little bigger than my number 10 screw. I'm gonna line up centered on this last piece of cushion and I'm gonna make my hole right through the center of the railing. When I do this, I'm gonna push my seat back just away a little bit so that I don't puncture into the plastic. Because what I'm gonna drill into here is actually a plastic backing, a nice high density polymer backing. Uh, I wanna make sure that I just get through my railing. And then with an impact, I'm gonna get my screw started. So I get it through my holes, I'm gonna pull the seat back back with some force, and then I'm gonna gently drive that in. And what I'll do is once I'm started here, I'll go ahead and finish by hand tightening with a Phillips head screwdriver. That way I don't strip out that plastic. So feel it start to grab there, it pulls it nice and snug. Now my furniture lines up, I'm nice and secure, and on the outside of the railings I have a nice sharp look with this flathead screw and finish washer.